Hey Kingdom family, my name is Candy Nicole and welcome back to Arise in Glory. So today's scripture is coming out of Ecclesiastics 3.1. For everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven. So again, today it seems the theme is continuing to repeat itself. If you didn't get it, please get it. So it can stop repeating itself. I'm wondering like, am I not getting it, Jesus? You guys, it's a brand new season. It's a brand new season. It's all new, 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 new. Like all things new, new, brand new, spanking new. Jesus doing the new thing. He resetting it. It's just a clean slate. It's new. Okay, all the words that's coming up in the, um, the last few days. It was like, he said like reset, clean slate, wipe clean, control all delete. Way back in my notes. That's what he was talking about over the last few days. And it continues today that it is just a brand new season. So last night I had some dreams. And I'm not going to tell you about the actual dream itself. But I'm going to tell you the point of the dreams, you guys. And one thing I heard during my dreams. It was basically God was talking about letting go of the old and stepping into the new. Okay? You are brand new. You don't even go with the things of your past. Like you just... You don't fit that no more. Like, you you knew new. You knew new, okay? So, <laughs> the song that I was hearing was actually a commercial that I hear very often on YouTube. You know me. If you've been here, God speaks to me through music a lot. So, I start hearing this commercial that comes on YouTube. It says something like, Out with the old, in with the new. Change it, flip it, rearrange it. Something like that. I don't know. I don't even know what the... It says something like, um, you want to work it out? Yeah, you do. I don't, I don't know. Hold on. I forgot that part. But the part I kept hearing was, out with the old, in with the new. Change it, flip it, rearrange it. Yeah. Switch it up. If you know what that is, leave it in the description box. We hear it very often on the little commercials here on YouTube, but I don't know what it's about. Is it about like a flip phone? I don't know why. I don't know, y'all. Okay, anyway. I was hearing that okay then another thing I was hearing last night was Ray J one wish and God was talking about my dreams last night people who were in your life are now then God has told you to let these people go they are regretting losing you they are regretting your presence being gone whether this is relationships romantic relationships friendships God told you to let go Family members that you may have had to walk away from, um, congregations, church, ministry, whatever it may be. God told you out with the old and in with the new. Okay, because God's about to change it, flip it, rearrange it. And these people from the past are in deep regret. If y'all ever heard the Ray J song, One Wish, it reminds me of, okay, <laughs> If y'all, okay, I, I don't know what, what, what genre, you know, you listen to, genre, okay, girl, you, this girl from Louisiana, y'all, I, I don't talk good, okay, I, I don't even understand why I'm here talking to you, because I don't talk good, I don't qualify for this, so just come along with me, alright, you remember how they used to say Key Sweat used to just cry in all his songs, well, in this Ray J song, he sound like Key Sweat to me, he like, one wish, one wish, one wish, it's like, if I could ever go back, basically, y'all, these people are living in regret. And they're like, if I had one wish, I would go back and we'll be best friends. Love would never end. If I only had one wish, I would make everything right with you. But the thing is, when they were in your life, they knew who you were then. God, it was, you were not hidden from them. Hold on, y'all. I'm only recording this one, y'all. You were not hidden from them. They knew who you were then, but they decided to gamble with you. And well, they gambled and they lost. And now God is saying it is time to move on to the new things that he has for you because that, oh, it didn't suit you. They did not handle you correctly. God sent you there to be a light into these people's lives, to shine light into their lives, but they didn't want you. They wanted to gamble. They thought that there was something better than whatever it was that God had sent into their life to help them. So, 
they are in regret right now. Another thing God was telling me is many of these people are going to come back around trying to apologize, trying to come back into your life because they see that you are moved on and you're into something new and you're good. But they want to come back and apologize and get in back good with you. And God says, no, do not accept these apologies. One thing he was saying also, it's a halfway apology. It's not even a whole apology. Y'all ever had somebody halfway apologize to y'all? Well, that's what they're going to be bringing up to you. Some halfway apologies. And he's saying, you're not accepting that. We're I hear you, but eh -eh. I'm moving on into what God has for me. And God is telling y'all to continue to move on. There was another part of this. Um, <laughs> all right. So out with the old, in with the new. One wish. There was something else that went with this. <laughs> okay. A best friend just texted me. Okay. So, yes. Expect your double. The boomerang is coming back around. Expect your double double whatever it was that God removed from you God is replacing it with something so much better do not go back to the things of the old it is time to move on into the new just like the song said out with the old in with the new change it flip it rearrange it it is time to walk into the new the messages in the last few days reset Control, alt, delete. Clean slate. Wipe clean. God is doing a new thing. Can y'all not comprehend it, y'all? I've been saying it, I think, at least for three days now. I hope that I'm comprehending it because I'm trying to understand why is he continuing to repeat himself? Am I not getting it? Or somebody he wants to hear it. Y'all, it's a new, it's a new season and God has better for you. Look forward and walk forward into what God has for you and keep your eye on the new thing. Keep your eye on the promised land. Don't look back to Egypt. One thing God told me last night, and maybe this is for me, y'all, because I was on Facebook looking at all the people from my hometown, and God told me I'm not returning the same way that I left. And I told y'all in a post last night, this is for some of you. Did you catch it? Chew, baby. Did you catch it? You are not returning to that place the same way that you left. You're going to look different, walk different. You will have a new title. You might have a brand new last name. You are not. When they see you again, you're going to be brand new. Basically, this message is about being brand. It's about being brand new. The new, new. It's about the new, new. Walk into the new, new. I'm going to talk to y'all later. I hope y'all are having a wonderful day. Bye.